Missoula, Montana. It's the four-year-old Madison Street underbridge for bikes and pedestrians. State highway above, university connections to the east, and the river trail continues west. The subject of this video is looking at trail surfaces as mist continues to look for alternatives to especially asphalt and fossil fuel based surfaces, an element of sustainable transportation. About almost a mile of trail was paved a year and a half ago in May of 2010 with asphalt, what we're riding right now. 600 linear feet was left open for our group to partner with the city with a demo surface we plan to install sometime in 2012. We've had about 15 hours of solid rain that's led up in the last hour. You can see this asphalt, there's no puddling, it's wet, easy to ride on. It is a fossil fuel surface and there's runoff that goes into the river, especially immediately after laying the asphalt is when a lot of the toxins are running off and can harm plant life, aquatic life, human life as we track the asphalt into our homes, schools, businesses. Right here we're entering the 600 linear feet, slightly muddy, the packed gravel, pretty easy to ride on and this 600 feet is right next to the Clark Fork Natural Park, excuse me, the native prairie, the natural park is further ahead. This prairie is meticulously maintained by locals <clears throat> as close to an original state before people really settled this valley to the extent we're, we've settled it now. It's pretty easy to ride on this trail even after a day of rain. Without fenders you would get some mud splattering. Now we're back on the asphalt section. You can see there's also a little lip not much here, but in some areas it can actually throw a rider. We've had some, some crashes due to this lip. I can move off the lip, a little bumpy, I can move back on. So the lip actually tends to diminish over time as vegetation grows up and gravel fills in naturally. Let us know if you have thoughts on more sustainable paving surfaces. Strands.org